I want to talk about what tech has cancer. Having cancer means a whole new lifestyle. Change. It means like, you have to be sun safe and wear sunscreen whenever you're outside. Even if it's cloudy or rainy because the sun is still out. And then it means that my life is going to be a whole lot different than, ever, than other people because I'm more aware of the effects that cancer has. Three, some feelings I had when I had cancer were scared. I hope I was going to make it. Anxious, my brother was always by my side, so I knew I'd be fine with that. All the treatment and how my lifestyle will change so much. I'm going to talk about what it's like to have a sibling with cancer. Ultimately, all you want when you figure out your sibling has cancer is for them to get better. But with that, um, there are a lot of feelings that are associated with it. First, you feel sad because you have um, someone that you really care about going through something really hard. And you're also anxious because you really don't know what's going to happen to them. And you're scared because they're somewhat... Um, you're really not familiar with what's going on and you're worried because you, all you want is for them to get better but you're really not in a position where you can um, directly do things to make them feel better. Things that helped us while we were going through this was one, just talking to your sibling about things that are fine. Two, uh, visiting them when they're getting treated in the hospital or just like being there with them when they're um, going through this. Three, it's just like hanging out with your sibling. I just think that making good memories with your sibling right now is something that's really going to help them have courage to go on. And then four is gifts. Everybody loves gifts. Um, the I think like ultimately our because of this experience, we know a lot more about melanoma and um, how people are experience it. So, if you know someone who has cancer and you want to feed them the proper way for skin cancer, don't ask them to remove like their hat or their socks because that might be where their spot is and they might not be comfortable showing it. But if you do see it, you can point it out, but don't go like, whoa, what is that? Because they might not be comfortable talking about it. And only just don't ask them in general if you know they don't like it.